Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cool free YouTuber and today I'm going to do a first impression with the Moonfall palette from Shroud. This has been one of the palettes that I've bought since my no buy ended in uh, December uh, of last year. So I bought this one and the Halloween. I have used the Halloween twice, this I haven't used. I see it's going to be another first impression. The palette <laughs> looks like this, if you didn't know. This artifact came shatter shattered. I could press it down and I really hope it will hold, but I'm a little bit like afraid to move this palette around. This is a 9 pan palette, as they often do, Shroud, and yeah, I do have... I think all of the shimmers are single from this one, because I bought the single bundle. A single shimmer bundle, shimmer bundle maybe it is, and uh, from Shroud. But yeah, I'm going to use this today. And I'm going to use it because I don't want to have any unused palettes in my collection. My first thought with this palette was that I wanted to do some green because I do love that artifact, but I did change my mind and I'm going to do something purplish. So I think I'm going to use this one and maybe this one and this one. Maybe only this one and yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to start with this one and I think this is going to be kind of dark and I don't want it super like intense and dark. So what I'm going to try to do is taking it on my outer corner of my eye and then blend it up in my crease. And okay, what am I going to talk about today? I think this is the hardest right now. Okay, I'm going to be honest, that is not the hardest. The hardest thing is I'm sitting down to film, but like I don't know which palette to use and I don't know what I want to do for kind of look. And I guess that we like struggle with this a lot of us. Especially like for me, I have had my YouTube channel for a long, long while and right now I'm not shopping that much makeup. So I guess it's maybe not like super strange that I have... Do you know what? I think I'm going to take this all over my crease and then I'm going to maybe cut something. Like a little halo or a cut crease or something. Um. Yeah, because I do not shop any new makeup directly. I bought this one and yeah, the Halloween in February and that is all the eyeshadows that I bought this year. So I'm having a little bit hard time to know like what to use and uh, it's no secret that I'm not putting up that many videos right now and it's just because I it feels like I don't have anything interesting to talk about anymore. And I don't have any interesting looks that I want to do. So I just think that I, I do struggle a lot. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not. And I know that in my no buy, the one thing that really helped me was to have different theme weeks. And in the end of last year, I did a lot of theme weeks. And I think that really like saved me and knowing what to do. But I don't know if I have the time to have theme weeks. Okay, maybe that is a lie because I do have a lot of time, but I don't have the energy to film that much. I'm not going to pretend like I have, but but at the same time it can be that I don't know what to talk about and I don't know what to do. That's making me not having the inspiration, not feel like I have time and everything. I guess it's just a bad... One thing leads to another, and it's just going in a downward spiral, maybe you say. Downward spiral, yeah. 
So I don't know if it maybe is because of that. And okay, this shade wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be. Which I'm not mad about. It feels like a lot of problems or not a lot of problems, but it feels like some have some problems to use shrouds palettes because it is mainly darker shadows and maybe it isn't that easy to just play with darker shadows and this eye so much better than this eye. I like don't I'm not happy what happened. There, maybe I can fix it. And I think that this is dark, but it's not that dark that I am super afraid of it. Maybe I'm not afraid of dark colors, but I hope that you get what I mean. And I think it's really nice. But I do really want to use the shimmer in this one. I, this is not going to be a completely matte look because I do want some shimmer in this. And the question is, because I don't know if I want to use Devotion or Soul Stone, but I think Soul Stone would look really good. Because the Night Song, I don't think I want anything blue. I think it's Soul Stone. Yeah, I will use Soul Stone. I was really debating on whether I should buy this palette or not when I bought the Halloween because I do have the singles bundle with the shimmers. But then I, I saw somebody do a look with this. I don't know if it was Debbie or if it was Betty Bean. I don't know, but I saw someone do a look with this palette. I was like, okay, do you really want it? So, okay, I'm going to do something that I usually see Betty Bean do and I do it sometimes because I just think it's, I just do really like it. So I'm taking my NYX glitter primer and then I'm taking a fluffy brush and doing like a cut crease but not that precise because I want this a little bit more, it's not maybe going to be playful but Maybe not, yeah, just not that precise and it feels like this is making it not that thick and also like the edge is a little bit easier. And then I'm going in with this old stone. Shroud is really doing one of my absolute favorite formulas when it comes to shimmer. I just think it is amazing formula and the shimmers are just so pigmented so easy to use and they are really like thick shimmers it feels like they are like Eva's place was a long time ago and I can really recommend this if you are having problems with Maybe doing a cut crease and you think it's getting a little bit sharp, just going with a fluffy brush to cut your crease. And it's going to be easier to get a line between the matte and the shimmer and also it's not going to be that much product. I think I'm finished with the lids. I do really like them. I have some fallouts which... I think it's always so hard to talk about fallouts because I do not do my base first because of the fallouts and I don't want to risk to destroying my base. But I guess if you are doing your base first, you have to be a little bit more careful because I do have fallouts both from the shimmer and from matte, but yeah. And I just realized it's smashing my nails. Okay, so I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back with the finished look. This is the finished look. I do really like it. For my face, I did use my liquid contour from Gloss Gods in You Are Inspiring. For blush, I did use Independence from Nabla and highlighter Awesome from Nabla. On my waterline, I just took 
like Honey Dude from Colourpop and then the struggle begin as normal. It's my lips. I took Immersion from Kaleidos. This is so old and I actually start to think that it's time to throw this away. It, it, it has started to smell. It's not smelling bad but it just smells different <laughs> so I guess it's time. But I have such a hard time to... Uh, it feels like I want to throw out all the lipsticks I own and just try to find something that I really love because I struggle so much with putting on a lipstick right now. I don't know why. But it's just getting worse and worse and worse. But if I'm going to talk about the look, I do really really like it. I only did use two shades. So... Maybe I'm going to try to say this word, primordial, primordial dial, this one, and soul stone, amazing shimmer, amazing matte, I just love this look and I do really love shrouds and brand and this palette feels like all of the other palettes, amazing. And I guess that was all for this video. And it feels good that I finally did use this palette. I don't think I've used this Soulstone as the single I do have. Do I even? Maybe I should check. Did you hear me speaking? Maybe I, I don't have that. I don't have that. I only have these nine. But this is the one that came broken, Artifact, so it feels good to uh, that I had that one from before. But okay, that was all for this video. I do really like this look. I think it looks really good and Shroud, I just love Shroud. That was all for this video. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!